Let's do a little bit more editing with polygons and learn uh, about a couple of uh, additional things we can do with polygons that's uh, pretty neat and useful. So I've got some uh, polygons here that represent uh, clear cuts and regrowth areas on my air photo here. And I'm going to digitize a clear cut here and uh, we already know how to do polygons but here I've got uh, um, a border that's shared with an adjacent polygon and actually another shape file. And what I want to do when I make that clear cut is I don't want to just make it look like those um, match up. I want them to match exactly. So we're going to learn how to use a trace tool to trace the boundary of this other polygon so they match up exactly. All right, so let's do some editing. Um, let's start with my editor off. Uh, turn on editing. And then uh, I, want to, I want to edit the clear cuts. Now, notice over here in my create features, uh, I want to modify, I want to create a new clear cut polygon, but nothing's coming up. Uh, this happens sometimes with Arc, where it doesn't have what it's called a, a feature template. Um, so we're going to go up here. I'm going to click on the Organize Templates. I'm going to create a new feature template. So I'm going to go to my Clear Cuts and say New Template. Um, and I'm going to create a, a new uh, template for the Clear Cuts. And so now I have a, a, a new uh, feature template over here that I can use and I'm going to create a polygon. Alright, let's zoom in so we can see a little bit better what we're doing. Alright, go back to my polygon here, and now I want this to snap here to start out with. Now notice right now I just have my end snapping on, and that's not the end of that polygon, so I want to snap to uh, probably vertices here. And so now, as I move different vertices along that polygon, I can see that I can snap to them. So I'm going to start in the very corner here and click on that and now digitize the edge of my clear cut. Oops. I didn't mean to snap to that road. So let's go back and I'm going to delete that vertex. Now here, it's snapping to the roads, but I don't want it to. It's snapping to that vertex. So I'm going to halfway through this turn off snapping. Um, so that it doesn't snap to that row because that's not helping me define the edge of this polygon. And I get around here to the edge, the other side of this regrowth area, and I want those to connect. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn back on my vertex snapping so I can snap to there. And now I want this to follow all the way along here. Um, so I'm going to go to this little this pop-up window here, this pop-up toolbar, and I'm going to turn on uh, Trace. And then I'm going to click on the vertex there, and then as I move along that polygon, it's going to follow that all the way through. And then double-click to finish here. And now it added the vertices and the lines exactly along uh, that regrowth, so that this border, the shared border between these two polygons, is exactly the same. As always, save, uh, and I've got some nice clean edits there. Exciting stuff.